gamers. If you're watching this on YouTube, first of all, I'll give you guys an update why the uploads are irregular. And for you guys on Twitch, maybe if you haven't uh, heard, if you haven't been following or whatever. But I had, uh, as you may or may not know, I had stomach problems for like four or five days where if I ate something, I had like massive cramps and stomach pain. So I was eating like basically nothing for four or five days. I was extremely hungry. I was tired. I was exhausted. And I still had to obviously practice through all of that. That lasted about four or five days. I got better. Literally the next day, um, I had fever and I had extremely sore throat. That lasted about four days. Um, so that was fun. And then I was getting better. You know, I was drinking meds and I was like, oh, tomorrow is probably going to be, you know, all over. Then the next day I woke up and my kidneys were in extreme pain. And I have fucking kidney stones now. So I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, if you hadn't, haven't had kidney stones, it's for me at least the most painful thing I have experienced. If you've ever had a tooth infection, uh, it's a, that, that's like a mild uh, discomfort compared to this. It's extremely painful and I've had it for the past four days. It's a bit better, but uh, at times I'm in a, a lot, a lot of pain and I have to drink like four or five liters of water a day. And it practicing is very hard because I'm on pain meds as well. I'm on more medication for the, the kidneys to, 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 to dissolve the whatever it is in and to help me uh, pass it. So it's like sometimes when I take painkillers, I'm very like foggy and then, you know, it just sucks because this is all happening like, uh, you know, basically 10 days before the tournament. And I don't know if I'm even going to get better for the tournament. So that's why there's no regular uploads. That's why there's no... Uh, there's not as many streams um, I try to practice whenever I'm not in pain like if, if I feel okay like now um, like I have discomfort but I don't have pain right now I, I you know I try to stream I try to record a video I try to practice uh, but other than that you know earlier I, I told the stream I was outside and when I came home I, I was in so much pain I drank pain med and I, I just had to sleep Thank you all the doctors in the chat telling me what's wrong with me. Guys, uh, it's okay, I've been to doctors. Um, you know, got second opinions as well. So now that we got that out of the way, now that I updated you guys with everything, there's the new tournament that's announced by EGC TV about an hour or two hours ago. Uh, let's watch the trailer and then we'll discuss and then I'll announce the team I will be playing with. Let's go. sacred site himself it's a villager versus villager on the sacred site but there are keeps in the midst of this and that changes absolutely everything and now a final battle between a single springwood who goes to kiss its final love you know what i found funny when i watched this i was like another youtube video and it's me losing <laughs> that first game this one that the show is me <laughs> me losing the game and i was like fuck man <laughs> Over here, it's over. It's over. So, gamers, the tournament is announced. We got the dates, and I'm going to show you guys more information and then give you a, a little who I'm going to be playing with. All right, so let's get through the rules so you guys know what's going on so here we go 
The Winter Team Championship is Idris City's first team event ever and the first ever major event including 2v2 matches. This team event features teams with a minimum roster of 3 players and a maximum roster of 4 players playing in formats that include both 2v2 and 3v3s. While the full handbooks will be released along with the sign-up criteria in early November, here's some early information. Teams. While teams of 3 are allowed, it is strongly encouraged to enter with a roster of four. While you'll still be able to play your matches with only three players, we'll be forced to disqualify any team unable to field three players on a match day due to unforeseen issues with internet, at WAM, at Papipaw, sickness, or any other eventuality. It is allowed to have an uneven distribution of prize money among team members, so long as this is agreed before the, uh, between the team before the tournament commences. This is in order to encourage, at minimum, the use of a lower-ranked fourth player to act as a reserve. Every team must have a captain who will be the only team member responsible for coordinating with other teams and the event admin. Seeding. Seeding will likely include ATR and Road to Wallala points. I can already tell you guys, I my team will probably be seeded one. Um, with average, probably, pro very probably, yeah, yeah. With averages used to determine a team score. The seeding will also take into account the three strongest players. We reserve the right to include lim limited invitations and may include ranked season and our quick match search rankings on a limited basis too. During the first weekend there will be two one-day qualifiers including 32 teams each in total. On each day four teams will qualify to the main event. Teams seeded 1 to 32 will be allowed to compete in both qualifiers. Teams seeded 33 to 36 will be allowed to, complete, to compete in only the second qualifier. Tournament schedule. Tournament will be divided into a GSL group stage and a playoff stage. A qualifier for the main event will be held during the first weekend. First weekend. So it starts November 19th. So next month. Saturday, single elimination qualifier. Round of 32, 16 and round of 8. Best three, best three, best five. Sunday, single elimination, qualifier number two, uh, round of 32, round of 16, and then a round of eight. Because two teams qualify right from here. If you win a round of eight, you qualified. And if you win a round of eight on the second day, you qualified. So that's four teams. Then another four teams. Um, wait. Wait, it's four teams per week, right? On each day. Oh, on each day. All right, I'm dented. It's not two teams. It's four. So four, eight. Um, oh yeah, it is eight teams. Okay, never mind. I, I, I'm. Uh, I'll just blame the kidneys. So yeah, eight teams. I guess go to the group stage. So it's gonna be uh, next weekend, which is the week after Saturday. GSL group opening match, best of three, and then Sunday GSL group. Best of three winners, match and elimination, best of threes as well. And then week after, the third weekend is the GSL decider. So these are going to be the final matches of the group stages that are going to be best of fives, which is basically four elimination. And then Sunday is semifinals. And then I guess week after is the grand finals, best of seven. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So it's going to span over a full month and it's going to be on the weekend. Round structures. Oh, see, this is the interesting part, okay? So check how this is played. If it's a best of three, game one is a 3v3, game two is a 2v2, game three is a 3v3. In best of five, game one 3v3, two 2v2, three 3v3, four 2v2, blah, 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 and seven 3v3, 2v2, 3v3, 2v2. Now this is the interesting part. Teams cannot use the same li same lineup for two consecutive 2v2 games. In a best of five series, if player A and player B played game two, which is this game, then either player A or player B must be benched for game four, which is this one, so that player C can play as well. Along the same lines, during best of seven series, a player that had played both game two and game four will not be able to play game six. That is the full tournament announcement. And I'm just going to get it out of the way. I know people are going to ask me, is B going to be allowed to play? I don't know. I don't know. I swear, I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Whoever is allowed to play, <clears throat> whatever the rules are, I don't know. I know as much as you. 
we have to wait for the the, the player uh, I was gonna say player book handbook and um, yeah and also there's no announcement or mention of that so I don't know <clears throat> so anyway can we guess some pause champs in the chat the team that I will be playing with I mentioned we're gonna be number one seed I hope that's the case. Both of the guys I'll be playing with are playing on Road to Wallala or Red Bull Wallala. <clears throat> the first player is Demazla. Yeah, Baltimore and Cutie Patootie are teaming up. And the last player, the third player, weakest out of the three, right? But he tries his best. He tries his best. It's not his fault, you know, he, he plays as well as he can. And sometimes, it, it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this was a huge risk to take. Because this guy in the previous 3v3 tournament hasn't even qualified for the tournament. This is how bad he is. The last 3v3 tournament for $20,000, I got second place. This guy couldn't qualify. So I'm taking a chance on this kid, right? I'm taking a chance on this guy. He has never seen a competitive team game in his life. He lost a bunch of goals in the qualifiers. And that player that will be joining the Muslim and me is Marine Lord. <laughs> what an epic speech. <laughs> so yeah, uh, me, Marine Lord, uh, or Marine Lord, the Muslim and I will be, uh, will be playing in the tournament um, together. Uh, we don't know Most likely by the way, I'm assuming nothing changes, right? We, we already talked and stuff. I'm assuming nothing changes. That is the plan right now uh, So things might change and you might see me play with someone else, but I, I don't think so We need to decide if uh, If we're gonna take the fourth player with us or not. Oh my god. I just I just got the best name for the team Oh my god. I gotta write this to oh <laughs> Dude, the team name, are you ready? This might be my greatest name I have ever had. I don't care what Marine Lord says. The team name is going to be Two and a Half Men. Oh my god, that is so good. Oh my god, that is such a good name. So for those that don't know, uh... Just search two and a half men TV show. That's so good. Oh my god. Dude, I we're either having that name or we're not playing in the tournament. Without uh without any further delay, uh that is the plan, right? Um I don't know any more details if I do know. Unless there's some major crazy rules or whatever, uh, I probably won't be making another video about this. But you know, you can probably catch the updates through my stream or through through you know forums or through my Discord or whatever else. So um, yeah, uh, for the people saying teaming up, you three teaming up isn't fair. Uh, I mean, tournaments aren't fair, and also. I don't think uh, that we're necessarily going to win it for sure or even do well for sure um, team games I think are a lot different than one-on-ones and I think anything can happen I think if I had to assume if I had to guess um, I'm assuming that Vortex, Lucifron and Mista will be teaming up because they did in the last 3v3 tournament and they won I would assume that the other two brothers, Poppy Paw and Wham, are gonna team up with someone. I don't know with who. I saw you guys in the chat, you can leak it already. You probably have an idea who you wanna play with. Um, I would assume they're gonna team up as well. Um, and there's probably a, a bunch more teams. Oh yeah, ma um, Magic Recon and Mista. Yeah, maybe that's a thing as well. So who knows? Wham says B. Okay, there we go. B, Wham, and Poppy Paw. There it is. Um, do you reckon uh, Lenok is in? 
Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, this was announced like an hour and a bit ago, maybe two hours. So I don't know if, if guys already uh, made teams or not. But like I said, it's a team game, you know, like let, let's assume. Let's assume you have three best players and they team up. That doesn't mean they're going to win a team tournament. Team tournaments are, are completely different. So. Yeah, you never know. You never know. I do think it's going to be a lot of fun. I do think there's going to be a lot of uh, potential strategizing. And the last 3v3 tournament we played was when we played on the big fucking maps, if you guys remember. Because the team maps used to be a size bigger than what they are now. So I think having the maps be smaller now is going to be a lot more interesting. Because there's going to be more aggression and obviously the patch is completely different. You can't just go... Or maybe you can actually, I don't know. We need to think about it and figure it out, but... I'm assuming you can't just go pure night on everyone and just win, right? So, um, it should be a lot of fun and um, I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, if you're watching this on YouTube, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm Like I said earlier, I'm sorry there's no videos. I am trying my best, but I, I, I would love to say this is where I'm going to do the next video. <coughs> I have no idea when. Oh, by the way, next to the kidneys... I have headaches again and I'm coughing. So it's like. <sighs> I'll see and I'll probably go to the doctor again tomorrow. But either way, um, I will try my best to record some of the guides. So when the season 3 starts, you guys have new build order guides for every sip. Anyway, YouTube guys, YouTube gamers, thank you for watching. Uh, Twitch gamers, Easy. let's. Keep going. Boom.